How's it going you guys? So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite books, The Primal Blueprint. Okay, this is actually the latest edition, the 2019 updated edition, the paperback version. And uh, one of the reasons why I can honestly say it's, my, it's one of my favorite books, especially on nutrition and health, is mostly because Pretty much every single thing that I found that actually works as far as effortless fat loss, athletic performance, and also just optimizing health, uh, regardless of health conditions. You know, if you have diabetes, this program will help. If you just have general weight loss goals, it'll help. Uh, for athletic performance, it can definitely um, help to boost your results. Um, you know, everything from the nutritional tips to the lifestyle tips and the recovery tips as well. But also things like autoimmune diseases and things that are very common these days. Uh, you know, and I myself followed a, you know, a autoimmune paleo diet really, which can fall in line with these principles uh, to heal my psoriasis and chronic digestive problems I was dealing with back in like 2013, 14, and 15. Um, so it's very effective for a wide variety of different health problems. And basically this book, so also I recommend this to a lot of my clients, mostly my clients that are, you know, just starting out and they don't really have any clue about health or nutrition or exercise. Um, and most, just most people in general, not even just clients, but friends of mine, people that are, that have a basic understanding of like maybe nutrition or exercise, but they don't, they don't have the holistic health type mindset in regards to all of this like this book it ties everything together it ties nutrition exercise and lifestyle all together in a way that can be in alignment with many different things you don't have to follow a primal diet to get value out of a book like this um, so let me let me kind of explain here let me outline the book so uh, this entire book it is based around basic principles. So um, they call them the primal blueprint laws. So law number one, eat plants and animals. Uh, law number two, avoid poisonous things. Um, and then they have lifestyle, uh, they have exercise laws, you know, move, he move often at a light, moderate pace. So like gardening and walking, um, and having an active job and just taking the stairs instead of the elevator and just being generally active most of the time. Uh, lift heavy thing, he, lift heavy thing, heavy things every now and then is, an, is another primal blueprint law, which basically just means, you know, follow a, a basic strength training routine, you know, maybe once or twice a week, according to this book. Although that's one of the things I don't really um, fully advocate. I think that people should do strength training more often. But for just the basics and people are just starting out, the one to two times a week weight training uh, as outlined in this book is, is relatively, is very valuable um, and, it, and it is effective regardless. They also talk about um, uh, a lot of lifestyle things like, you know, obviously sleep and, um, you know, de-stressing and a lot about the importance of disconnecting from our modern day stressors. So one one of uh, so also this book is is very has a lot of uh, information on uh, plant toxins, things like lectins and anti nutrients that are found in a lot of plants, and I think that that's very valuable for people who who view nutrition as calories in versus calories out. A lot of people don't recognize the fact that there's a lot of foods out there that have chemicals that are biologically active to the point where they can trigger autoimmune illness in many people. You know, there's the idea that food is medicine. Well, a lot of medicine has side effects and literally, you know, things like uh, turmeric, for example, uh, curcumin acts very similarly to aspirin. And we know that aspirin has side effects in the long term. Um, and that's just an, one example of how foods, certain molecules and foods can have, you know, side effects in the body. 
And this book talks a lot about, it basically introduces you to those ideas. Um, it, the, the nutrition outlined in this book is basically paleo. It's basically paleo, you know, meat, vegetables, and fruits. But they allow things like uh, dairy. They allow grains, certain grains, uh, if you can tolerate them, of course. Things like uh, dark chocolate, um, red wine, and stuff, stuff that are not normally allowed on a regular paleo diet. So, um, so it's definitely not the average paleo diet. It's a lot more lenient and allows a lot more options. Also things like potatoes and tubers with the caveat that nightshade vegetables could potentially trigger autoimmune uh, conditions. And this is basically the the paleo bible basically because it's it's so big so thick and so full of information it has information on um on carbohydrates and they have a very simple um a very simple graph as far as you know how many carbohydrates should you eat per day as a means for controlling fat loss so people who uh, have athletic goals can typically get away with 200 to 300 grams uh, per day according to their scale um, and then people who want rapid fat loss they basically eat in ketogenic uh, carbohydrate intake which would be under 50 grams a day and then the the typical primal blueprint recommendation for carbs is 50 to 150 grams per day so that's pretty cool how they have um, you know carbohydrates outlined in that fashion so that people can at least be aware of the different effects of the varying levels of carbs in the diet. And I think that's great because I do find, especially with the clients I work with, that carbohydrate restriction and then slowly introducing more carbs as they get more metabolically healthy is a very effective approach at fat loss. And most people, they find, it, they find an approach like this or, or an Atkins approach um, very sustainable because they don't have to stay like ketogenic. Uh, they have the option of eating more carbs on different days um, and adding them back over time. But they understand that if they want to stay in that fat loss zone, that they can just restrict their carbs down beyond a certain point. And so that's why, you know, this is one book that I recommend to most beginners just to get them introduced to everything. It talks about some of the potential harms of dairy. Um, you know, some of the, the, the uh, molecules that are found in dairy, like castle morphins and things like that, you know, even though it's, it's an allowed food, if you can tolerate it, it still outlines the potential harms. So that's awesome that they don't just say dairy is good or dairy is bad. Um, and another really great thing about this book is its heavy emphasis on epigenetics. So it, it introduces people to uh, it introduces people to, uh, to the concept of epigenetics as a means for preventing health problems in the future. And that's what the majority of the very beginning talks about. It talks about uh, why you're not doomed to your genetic susceptibility to diseases. You know, people think just because their, their mother and their grandmother had diabetes that they're doomed to have it as well. Um, but we know based on studies done on twins, for example, um, that what you eat and how you live your life can completely change the, your risk for the, having, for acquiring these diseases. And there are certain genes that will not express themselves given the, the right healthy circumstances. And those genes can be responsible for cancer growth, for cardiovascular disease, and the list goes on. And so this book definitely gives you a good primer on that. And uh, it's very reader friendly. Um, and that's again, why I recommend it to a lot of my clients and my friends and my family who are not really like as scientifically versed as I am. Uh, it talks a lot about, it talks a lot about obviously, um, it, it draws a comparison between ancient humans and modern humans. So um, like Mark Sisson uses the term grok. Grok is his prototypical ancient human. Now I will say 
the whole concept of paleo, it obviously is not a accurate representation of ancient humans. Ancient humans didn't have this glamorous, stress-free lifestyle that people like Marx, Marxists and kind of tries to make people believe, okay? Obviously, human beings were fighting for their survival every single day, starving to death, running from saber-toothed tigers and things like that, constantly being bombarded by bugs and infectious diseases and insects flying on them. So it's not like you were you had you were living a leisurely life where you only did like a sprint every now and then, um, and you had perfect sleep all the time and crap like that. But um, the way he describes ancient humans in this book is more so an ideal to strive for as far as optimal health. So like so whenever he mentions Grok, you should think about the optimal healthy human being. Like basically what our genetics are aimed for as far as optimizing health. Uh, so versus, um, you know, his other example, I forgot what he called him, Gorg, I think, Gorg or something, Gorg and, and Grok. Um, so he's constantly drawing a, a, a comparison between ancient human lifestyle and modern human lifestyle. Modern human lifestyle, for example, sedentary, uh, working nine to five, uh, sits all day, battles traffic on the way home, and eats fast food. Whereas Grok, according to Mark Sisson, um, doesn't have a schedule at all, wakes up, probably doesn't eat until like 3 p.m., you know, tends, tends to the, the home and, and the family, goes out and gathers some fruits and vegetables, uh, might, get, might, might chase down an antelope or something, um, and then kills the antelope and carries it back to the tribe where he eats it amongst his uh, tribe, you know, splits the liver with his wife, and then um, lays in a, in, a, in a warm bed of spring water before going to bed. <laughs> um, those are some of the, compar the types of compar comparisons that he mentions throughout the book. So, um, and as fun as a lot of the concepts might sound, uh, he also, the book is also, not only is it easy to understand, easy to read, but it's also very science heavy. As science heavy as a book that's written, that's user friendly can be written for, okay? It's definitely not like some of the other books that I've recommended in the past, like Stephen Finney's work, you know? Um, that's not what this book is meant for. It's meant to, to help the average person uh, become as well versed in health science as they possibly can and mostly just live a, a holistically healthy lifestyle. So again, it covers nutrition, exercise, uh, stress, stress de-stressing de techniques. It's an entire lifestyle that's designed around being as healthy as you possibly can. And it works and it's easy to follow. And you know, it cuts through all the fluff. It's, it's very basic, you know, eat whole foods, avoid foods that trigger, that you have intolerances to. You know, you can eat whatever style you want. Um, if you want sweet potato with mashed berries and butter, that's in alignment with the primal group blueprint. If you want, you know, uh, chicken breast, broccoli, and some, some fruits, that's also in alignment with, with the primal blueprint. Uh, talks a lot about omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, um, in inflammation and inflammatory substances. Um, talks about the glycemic load. Um, talks about a wide variety of different things. It mentions heart rate variability as far as gauging your exercise recovery. Um, vitamin D and different supplements. So, I mean, it's a very comprehensive book and I highly recommend it for the beginner. Um, pretty much everything you need to know about being healthy. Not to be an athlete necessarily, although this can definitely help. Um, but yeah, I mean, even to be a better athlete, if you're following the typical, like, if it fits your macros type of thing, um, you know, you don't know much about omega-6 and things like that. Um, if you don't really, if you feel overtrained on a regular basis, if you are living an unbalanced lifestyle, uh, the Primal Blueprint will definitely set you straight on that. So, I think that that's, you know, the vast, that, that's the majority of everything. 
Um, you know, it's it's awesome. It's it, it's very very basic principles that work very very well. So um, leave your questions and comments down below. Hopefully, I covered everything in this in this video because I mean it's a very awesome comprehensive book, and uh, a lot of the information is available for free on Mark Sisson's website and through his videos. Uh, definitely give it a, a shout out if you buy the book and you really want the full experience. I do recommend this version. There's multiple versions out there. There's a 2017 hardcover version. I recommend getting the latest version, although the hardcover version seems to be okay. Um, his older versions of the book are like five times smaller than, than this, but they do. You can get them for cheap use, like three bucks, and they still follow the basic principles. But they're missing out on a lot of the added foods and things that he included in, in the newest version. So. As a basic blueprint for nutrition and, and lifestyle, this is generally where we start and then individualize uh, the person's nutrition and lifestyle from this blueprint. So um, check it out. Uh, let me know if you've tried it before, what you think about it, and I'll talk to you all next time.